Hey guys, welcome back to this channel. So in today's video, I want to talk about how to hide apps on your home screen. So if you have an iPhone and you want to hide a certain app on your iPhone, well, you might think of moving it to the library or something, but there are actually five ways you can use to hide a certain app. The first one is if you go to your settings and you scroll down to screen time, click on that, scroll down and you should first use screen time passcode otherwise it will not work so so let's go ahead and choose a passcode so for the sake of this video i'll just keep it simple i just well i will choose one two three four uh, you can add your Apple ID just to recover that passcode that we've just made but you don't have to if you just go ahead and hit cancel um, then you get this pop-up that asks you if you're sure about this well hit skip and now you didn't have to back up that code with your Apple ID, but you can obviously, if you want to back it up with Apple ID, uh, feel free to do that. So, but what we want to do is hide a certain app on our homepage. So now we've created that passcode, we go ahead and hit content and privacy restrictions, go ahead and tap on allowed apps, fill in that passcode that you've just made. And now we have a library of apps that we can that we can toggle off if we want to, like Mail, Safari, FaceTime, SharePlay, Camera, and all of that. So let's say you want to hide your mail, for example, that's right here. I have my mail right here and let's see how that works. So let's toggle that off and the mail is gone as you see right here. So it's that simple, that way you can just hide your mail, but there is a downside to this trick because now if you want to use your mail, you can't find it anymore. So what you need to do is go back to your settings, toggle it on, go back, and now it shows right here and now you can use it. So every time you use your mail, you need to go back and forth, hiding that mail and showcasing that mail. That's a pain if you would ask me. So that's a trick, you can definitely use that, but there are more greater tricks that you can use. So the second trick to hide your apps is go back to your settings, go back to screen time once again, content and privacy restrictions, content restrictions and fill in your passcode that you've made. And now you can do all kinds of stuff in this particular area. But in today's video, we will focus just on hiding apps. So go ahead and click on apps. And now you can restrict the apps that you should use. So for example, if I have Call of Duty on this phone and we know for sure that Call of Duty is not made for uh, four years old, well, go ahead and toggle that, go back. And now if I go, now you see a lot of my apps are hidden because those apps are not made for um, for children that are four years old. So now there's no way you will find those apps. If I go back and go back to apps and allow all apps, if I toggle that, now all those apps are visible. For example, Call of Duty, like I said, and CoinMarketCap for for exchanging crypto and all of that. That sells, that's another great game. Um, Instagram. So all those apps are hidden once you toggle that or once you restrict uh, those apps only to four years old. So, but that's also a pain because now every time you want to use those apps, you need to go back, apps clip. You need to go back to your settings, go ahead, content restrictions, apps, and um, allow, allow all apps just to make all those apps visible and that you can use them, right? So that's a trick as well, but that's a bit annoying because now yeah, you need to go back and forth once again to um, toggle those apps on and off. And that might be a bit of a hassle. So the third trick, and this one is kind of easy to bring those apps back, is actually by pressing and holding a screen just to make those apps jiggle. And now what you can do, so let's say, for example, I want for whatever reason, hide this WhatsApp app. If I go and place it right here, now it's on a social network file, right? But it's still visible right there. So what you can do is go back, tap on that particular folder and go ahead and place it right here, somewhere like far away from the uh, visible part of that folder. 
So now it just contains one app, but if you are smart enough, you need to put more apps in that particular folder. Just not make it look obvious that you have something hidden there because, hey, why are you using a folder just for storing one app? That's a bit shady. So yeah, people, someone who will look into your phone will see that folder with just one app and that will seem weird. So just stuff a bunch of apps in that particular folder and the app that you want to have hidden, just put it somewhere in a safe place. So that's trick number three. Let's go ahead and check trick number four. And this one's actually very easy to do. So let's say you want to hide a certain page with all those apps on it. Let's say for example, for whatever. So let's say for example, I want to hide this page. Well, what you can do is tap, tap and hold on that home screen and go ahead and tap on these dots area where those dots are visible. I get into this area and now I can toggle some pages off and on. So for example, if I, if I want to toggle this one off, now all of a sudden that page is hidden. All those apps that were located on that page are not visible anymore. So if you want to bring that page back, you go back to this navigation and you toggle it on and that page is back with all the apps that you have. So if you have certain apps that you want that you don't want others to look at, go ahead and make sure all those apps are are on a certain page. Uh, yeah, make sure to toggle that page off and all, all those apps are not visible anymore. If you want to use them, you can just go ahead to your library, search for that particular app, and that app will still be visible. Other than trick number one and two, where you, you couldn't find those apps anymore, now those apps are there, but they are not on your home page visible. So that's a cool trick. The fifth and the last trick, and this one is very clever, uh, but you need to do something for it. It's kind of divided into a couple of steps. So let's say, for example, I want to hide that Instagram app. What you can do is make it look like, so what you can do is make it look like it's a calculator, for example. So what you need to do is go ahead and Google. So you need to Google, Google it like that, calculator app, iPhone PNG, search for that. And now you'll get some icons that represent that particular app. For example, this one, and this one has a great resolution. So I'll go ahead and choose this one. So add this one to your photos, go ahead and search for shortcuts, go ahead and hit this plus button right over here, add an action, choose scripting, open app, because you want to open a certain app. That's the instruction that you want to give to your iPhone. Go ahead and click on app and search for Instagram. Go right here on top, where it says open app, where it says open app and type in calculator because you want to make it look like it's a calculator, right? So go ahead and type in calculator and go to this button right here, click on it and add to your home screen. So now we need to give this shortcut. Basically, it's a, basically it's a shortcut uh, for opening Instagram. What you want to do is give this shortcut an image. So click on it. You shouldn't click on this one, but right on this one. You want you don't want to take photo. You want to choose a photo because we just saved that calculator logo to our photos. Go right there and choose that calculator picture. And now you want to align that PNG very well. So go ahead and make it slightly bigger and you don't want to see those white parts right there because those white parts will also be visible on that shortcut and that will not look great. So go ahead and make it slightly bigger just that those white parts are not visible anymore. So I think now they shouldn't be visible anymore. And this is how you want to have it. Hit choose and now add it to your home screen. And now we have a calculator that's basically your Instagram app. So if I click on it, I my Instagram gets open. And yeah, you want to make sure that you need to hide that particular app because if someone wants to use your calculator and sees that particular calculator app, you will click on it and that way your Instagram will be exposed. So make sure to have that your real calculator app somewhere visible on your screen, but this one, hide this one in your library somewhere that no one can use it. And that's actually it. I hope you benefited from this video. Please make sure to like it, subscribe to my channel, make sure to hit that notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.